guys welcome back to my channel so we're going to jump right into the video so I want to show you what I purchased from Kroger which was not a lot of items actually <clears throat> I purchased a pack of ground beef Kroger brand Lay's potato chips sliced organic olives Ortega taco sauce, just the original mild. Taco Bell brand taco seasoning. Three one three um, street taco wraps tortillas, and my fave um, tortilla chips because I want to make a taco salad tonight and I usually buy the 313 tortilla chips but when they don't have them in the um, original flavor just just the original salted or unsalted I will purchase these so so oh and I purchased two bags because I love them that much <laughs> So we're going to get right into the cooking of the taco. So I do want to let you know that last week I had a day party at my house, barbecue. I, I, cook a, I cooked a lot of food. Um, we had mac and cheese, greens, potato salad, baked beans, um, lamb chops, ribs, just a host of food. And so this week I'm just really slow rolling it and I'm trying to figure out like what's the next big meal that I want to cook but until then tonight we're going to have tacos I seasoned some chicken for um, possibly the weekend but it's already in my um, Dutch oven ready to be popped in the oven so um, I just purchased a few things because I do have tomatoes and certain things already here at home. And as I cook my tacos, you're going to notice that I try to add as many veggies as I can. And so keep watching. Let's cook a simple meal. That is, we're just having something simple tonight. <laughs> this is my favorite cheese the Mexican style blend. I usually put this on salads and anything else outside of the, ch the sharp cheese that's by the same brand. Overall, um, it seems like I'm becoming a cheese lover. Um, I don't indulge too much, but when I do have cheese, this is the brand that I love to go for. And it is the Kroger brand, or it's organic, um, Simple Truth. And I have here an organic tomato. I'm gonna wash my hands. And I know guys, today my energy is a little low. Like, I had a good day per se, but sometimes my energy is like low. Sometimes I'm just not in a happy, uh, chipperish, like, hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm not in that mood, so I'm okay. So I just washed my hands, but I'm going to wash my hands again because it's a force of habit. Alright, I'm going to grab my chopping board. And I'm going to bring you in closer. Let's see. Okay. All right. So this is my chopping board. And I have my chopping board on this um, Amazon thing that I purchased some time ago. And I'm going to do a video for Amazon. And so I'm not going to talk about that too much. Well, actually, I already had it recorded. 
Okay, you guys, I had to actually pause the video. I was talking and the water was running and it was very, very irritating to me. <laughs> so as you can see here, I have a green bell pepper and an orange bell pepper. I'm just rinse, rinsing the peppers off and I'm going to cut the peppers up. I'm going to cut the peppers up pretty much in a block larger fashion because I really don't like my vegetables to like disappear in my meal. I really do enjoy having vegetables and being able to taste them and feel the crunch per se. Um, I have one of my favorite knives that I'm currently using. And one thing I wanted to bring out is having the correct um, cookware and um, things to prep your food with will actually make life easier for you when you're preparing a meal. Sometimes when you don't have the proper knives or even a cutting board, you can damage certain surfaces or, you know, um, damage your plates and things of that nature. So having the proper tools can really make life easier. And so here I'm just rinsing things as I go along because it makes it faster to me than waiting until I finish to rinse things off. And so, like I said before, um, I was just talking about daily life and how sometimes we have so much to do throughout the day. We can just choose to eat out and not cook. And so today was one of those long days for me but I still decided to just make something to eat, but I chose a quick meal and I really had a taste for tacos. And so that's what I decided to cook. And even though this video is a little lengthy, I just feel 30 minutes to prepare a meal is definitely, definitely not long at all. And so this was definitely something that is easy prep and you can just do it at home. Sorry, why is that water running? This is actually the um, size stop night that I love when shopping. Oh, my hair. I should have wrapped my hair up. You guys, so I just got my hair done, right? And it's just like extra flowy, extra bothersome, and I should have wrapped it. But here we are filming. Let's do this. So back to being tired. So sometimes I'm just extremely tired. I do so much, have a lot on my plate, and I'm like, I'm going to record, I'm going to record, I'm going to record, and I don't do it. I have to start being um, more, um, I'm not going to use the word diligent because I am diligent and making sure that I record, but I want to be more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Some wise and using my time. Like, okay, I'm about to cook, just go ahead and record. Just start recording your day, just do it. Um, it's not that I'm looking for perfection. Sometimes I just am like literally overwhelmed and tired. So that's like part of the reason why I don't do it. Um, it's not, don't, I should stop saying don't do it. A lot of times um, I just don't pick up and record. So I have been getting a lot of requests for vlogs. So I'm going to try to vlog more. Okay, so these are the glass um, uh, bowls that I have. Probably need two, but that's okay. I'm gonna make it work. Um, from the brand 
OXO. I think it's OXO. But I'm just scooping all of my um what do you call it? Bell pepper, orange pepper, just putting all of it in my little thingy. Okay. So now we're gonna move on to the onion. And once again, I don't have a formula in how I chop. I just do it, get it done. So I'm planning on making enough for today and tomorrow. And I may use the other side of the, the other side of the pack of hamburger. I might freeze it or I might make a meatloaf. We'll see. But once again, it's the knife for me. And I'm a vegetable eater. I love big chunks of uh, onion and bell pepper. I do not like my vegetables to disappear in my food. Don't like it at all. You guys, so this shopping board was a gift from, uh, from my good friend. Um, she gave it for gave it to me. I think she said she purchased it from the Amish community um, in Upper Michigan, and it's one of my favorite chopping boards. I have two chopping boards as my fave, but this one is a little lighter than the other, and so I usually reach for this one more because the other one is just is beautiful, but it's so heavy. Like, ooh, it's very heavy. So I usually reach for this one. So here. As you can see, my onions is done. I want to grab this OXO situation. Put the onions in. Then we're just going to move over. Maybe I should just go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and chop the tomato while I'm standing here, while I'm on the road. Then I'm just going to go ahead and stick in the meat and get ready to cook the meat. And once again, this is something simple. I'm not doing anything just, you know, difficult. But very simple. I have a, um, um, this is just simple and fast. I didn't, I had some errands to run this morning, and so I did not um, have my smoothie like I normally have, so this will be my first meal. Of the day. Sweetie. So I ran out of my I thought I had more um, than three of the clear glass containers but guess not but not a problem I'm going to use these these are my favorite this is by OXO or OXO as well and they're just little glass containers that you can put in the refrigerator I rarely use plastic to store any of my food this is how come on focused focus okay so this is how the tomato looks in the jar 
So now we're going to move over to the stove and we're going to cook the veggies and I'm going to run into my sunroom and grab some basil. If you don't know, I am growing some herbs in my sunroom and so I have basil and I love basil. I love fresh basil so much and I'm going to add some um, actually um, in a second. So I'm going to run out and grab that as well. Okay, so I'm back from my sunroom and this is what I collected. So, so excited. And I'm going to rinse it and then chop it up. organically grown and let me see. So I buy the peeled garlic from Sam's Club and I put them in this bag or like in a Ziploc bag and then as I go I just grab them. So I'm going to use about one, two, three, four, five, six little cloves. You guys, so you see that I have my um, garlic here and I'm chopping, chopping the actual garlic. But then I'm going to pick up my pestle, which is the rounded marble tool. And then I'm going to firmly press down and it kind of makes the uh, garlic um, in a, a paste. And so once it's in a paste form, to me the flavors come out more. And so that's a little trick that I use. And I just love the way that fresh garlic tastes. I still do use powder garlic, but I love fresh garlic so much more. So now, you're here by my stove. Let me put some of this stuff Whew. away. So it's like medium, low to medium heat. I'm going to use um, avocado oil. Just put a little bit in there because I'm gonna start, I just put a little in there because I'm gonna start by sauteing my vegetables. want to cook the garlic a little bit before I add in my um before I add in my um what do you call those things I can't think today sometimes it's just that way okay you guys so we're going to first start off by cooking the basil and garlic down when you add a little oil and you cook the garlic down with the basil, it really gives a pronounced flavor to your food, a very clean, flavorful um, experience. I really can't explain it. You just have to cook with the fresh garlic and the basil to kind of understand. But for those of you who know, you know. And now I'm going to add in my bell pepper onion mix. Don't worry, it may look like um, that my skillet is burnt. It is not. That's one thing I love about stainless steel and good products. When you cook something down and it looks burnt, it's just flavor. So you're going to see me add a little bit more oil and later you'll see that nothing was actually sticking and so all of those flavors are going to continue to release through your food and so it's going to give you just an awesome taste and so um this is the base of your flavoring um just with the bell pepper i'm sorry with the garlic and the basil and so i will be adding some other seasoning you'll see in a, in a moment 
but it's just a thing but as you can see I'm clearly able to just get all of the the burnt looking particles from the bottom of the skillet but it's all flavor you never want to fret and so if you don't have a um, great stainless steel pan I really recommend that you get one because it's really a lifesaver when you're cooking different foods because even though we're just doing something simple it's just tacos the item that you cook your food in it does have a bearing on how your food tastes so as you can see here I'm using my pepper grinder and I'm grinding my pepper I love fresh pepper I love to grind my salt it's just different it releases a different flavor I am not joking and so <clears throat> those are just little tidbits that I like to do when I'm cooking and here I'm adding a little bit more seasoning because even though we're going to later introduce the taco seasoning packs those are just to me um, basic I just love to add in other powders and other flavors to just make the meat taste um, very flavorful because I just love flavorful food um, when I eat I just want to eat well you know <laughs> oh so I'm just making sure I'm getting all of the onions out because I love just fruits and vegetables really veggies you guys if you love tacos let me know down in the comment section because I really do and as you can see voila my veggies are done I'm ready to add my meat and it's just a vibe we're just cooking today I hope you guys are enjoying this video please like share and subscribe to my channel I would love to have you and I would like to thank everybody who's been supporting my content I appreciate you I appreciate all of the comments and questions as you know I do respond to everybody who comment on my videos or have questions and I just want to thank my subscribers and okay so as you can see I'm finished um, adding the hamburger to um, the pot and so now we're going to get the hamburger cooked I like my hamburger cooked medium I don't like my hamburger cooked medium well so this part is really up to you if you like your meat well done you might want to cook it a little longer I like my meat to be cooked um, medium I can't necessarily tell you how long to cook your food I can give you an approximate time I will probably cook this meat maybe for maybe about seven minutes because it depends on the BTUs of your stove it depends on the type of pan or you know pot or whatever you decide to cook in all of that plays a factor in how fast your food gets done I'm using a metal spoon I'm using a metal or steel um, pan and so things are gonna get done rather swiftly and once again I only like my beef to be cooked medium because that is the you know perfect mix for me but look how colorful it looks you guys with all of the extra veggies in there it just looks so good now I'm adding some cumin I'm telling you guys you missing out if you're not putting cumin in your tacos it's so good it just gives an extra oomph of flavor and herbs de Provence it's a very fragrant uh, herb and it's just it's fragrant and savory so if you like a savory meal you will enjoy that seasoning so as you can see even before I added any of the taco seasoning I've already began seasoning my meat and so and I'm not seasoning with salt I'm seasoning with powders and garlic and cumin and so it's going to give um, a great flavor so here I'm testing to see if my meat is to my liking and it is so I'm going to get ready to introduce the taco seasoning now some people choose to drain their meat 
I'm going to tell you why I did not drain my meat because I don't know if you can tell on the camera there was not much oil in there and so I don't drain the meat I just add some water because that little oil is still flavor so I did not want to pour my flavor out some people may choose to do it I don't because I don't buy hamburger that produces a lot of fat as you can see from what's in the pot there wasn't much fat in there I even added some water for some extra moisture and it's not a lot of fat so that's why I did not drain the meat however when I'm taking the meat and I am putting it on um, the plates for assembling our dinner I do drain but it's not much moisture moisture in there I'm particularly a dry eater and so I don't like a lot of wet food and when I say that I don't like a lot of sauce I don't like anything that's like wet and mushy um, especially when I have something that's supposed to be crunchy so I'm using this um, I think it's like a butter crunch lettuce I had this lettuce already from the party that I had that was one of the reason why I chose to cook tacos because I already had a lot of the things to make the meal and so I was using this lettuce for the party um, I was making what did I make oh I had brioche buns and I made these small sliders uh, these small hamburger sliders they were so good by the way and so now I'm um, still using the rest of this lettuce because I didn't use much much of it I'm using it for our taco salad so as you can see I put down the tortillas now I'm putting the lettuce and now I'm putting our hamburger on and I wish you guys can taste it's so good it was so bomb and so I'm just plating the food as you can currently see and I changed my spoon when I got the meat out, I used a slotted spoon, meaning a spoon with holes. So there was nothing but meat. No juice was coming from the actual hamburger because it was drained. I'm just adding some cheese. And you guys, you do it to your liking. I don't put a whole bunch of cheese. I don't put a whole bunch of sauce on my food but you're more than welcome. So now I'm adding tomatoes. And remember, I cut everything up earlier besides the lettuce. And so when it was time to assemble the tacos, those were things that were already done. And then I don't have to worry about um, storage of the tomatoes later because I already have it in a container with a closed lid. So now I'm just adding the Ortega sauce. And we're done pretty much I do have some extra lettuce on the side later I go back and I put the rest of that lettuce on my plate and so this is simple 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 recipe and fast I wanted tacos so this kept me from going to a restaurant to get tacos all right you guys my taco salad is complete let me zoom out. So it's simple, but it's so delicious. The meat is so flavorful. All right, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. See you guys next week. Bye.